some balance in my life. How cool is this, guys? Guys, we took one of the spots we're supposed to do this peddling situation here. Um, yes. And uh, we're boat. waiting for this sheep boat thing, the boat to go, and then we can start here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. One pound fish. I should have gone it a little bit. Okay. So you're the one who's telling us how you're controlling it. So we go what side? This side? Or this side? <laughs> this is so scary for me guys if you've been watching video my videos you know i'm so afraid of water because i can't swim so i'm just really taking a risk with this one okay now forward yeah yes okay <laughs> i can't believe i'm doing with this in freaking Switzerland. yes guys yes please make sure to subscribe for this because like i go all out to get these good videos for you guys like you don't know how much I'm freaking out right now. I think I even got a headache. But it's kind of nice. The view is beautiful. The water is like this nice blue. Beautiful blue. Ugh. And then it's just surrounded by mountains. You know? Oh my god, you're such a babe, you have to stop and enjoy it. I know I am stopping and enjoying it. No, I'm you're trying. not. <laughs> I am trying, like piddling, guys. Piddling, piddling, piddling. No. Yeah. No? I don't know. Like, I, guys, if you if you can relate to me, like, let me know. I really like being in control of things, and sometimes it can really make life stressful for you. You know. So, yeah, it's true. I think you should let loose and enjoy life. Don't stress so much, and just trust. You know. From Milan to Lugano, Switzerland is just one hour 30 minutes so it's like so close honestly from italy so from como it's probably like 30 minutes uh 30 minutes drive um the other thing is you can take the train which is one of the most popular ways to just kind of see switzerland so that would be awesome comment down below if you'd like me to do like a swiss video just like kind of tour the country like we're doing for italy i would love to do that i mean it's a really expensive country but we can try and see how to do it on a budget and uh, still like kind of have a beautiful experience so let me know if you'd like to see that and I can make it happen, guys. Oh, holy crap! Oh my god! Let's go away from here. Let's go away from here. It's like, oh! It's crazy! The way it's really true, baby! <laughs> Just control yourself. To direction, babe! It's coming for us! Just chill, babe. Seriously. Go this way. Yeah, just chill. Yeah, that's what he's saying faster. <laughs> yeah, let's <that's> chill. <laughs> So we are actually just trying to figure out what we're gonna or where we're gonna have lunch right now So we just came our babies inside Burger King right now and uh, it's crazy So we just did like a selection of a cup like burger fries and you know the usual and a drink and um, It's literally coming down to um, How much 53? 53 Swiss francs, which is like 50 euros freaking 50 euros. That's like so expensive just for Burger King to be honest yeah I'd rather pay like 50 or 100 euros like in a on restaurant, a restaurant, to a pop restaurant. yeah I pay 50 euros, yeah because yeah. like we, we kind of thing. thought honestly we thought like it would be more expensive to um, to just go to a restaurant but I think at this rate crazy involved guys are the burger I love the fact that there's chili guys chili but this is really good
Rukka. This is our roof, guys. And it is overlooking the lake. This is the view. It's beautiful and then it's mountains on this side. So we lost our card actually in Switzerland on our stop and um, the other thing also another weird thing happened there was a cancellation um, an issue I didn't check my email that was two days ago so we actually didn't have the room that we thought we had here in this hotel so it's it's so bad that we came and thank God there was a room available for tonight because we honestly would have been stranded so yeah the problem is they do not have booking for the rest of our stay so we have to find another hotel that we're gonna move to tomorrow and almost everywhere is fully booked in como it's like everyone came here to be honest so it is a mess it is a mess but you know what nothing is gonna stop our fun we're still gonna enjoy and we're heading out right now we're trying we're gonna walk to minaggio we've been told that um the walk to minaggio is what babe it's 20 25 minutes yeah yeah 20 yeah. 25 minutes so we're gonna try and do that walk by the lake and just kind of enjoy this environment um after such a hectic end towards the day but yeah so that's the situation so we just did a quick shower change up and now we're heading out so yes we're still continuing alhamdulillah we're still continuing we're still here <music> We're just walking through this little space and we're hoping we're not going to someone's house. So, literally just wore a dress and it's like a hike we're going for. Uh, we're heading to where we're going. It's called Menagio. So, yeah, but look at this. Oh my God, look at the people who actually have the villas here. Like, this is just stunning honestly if you're coming with groups if you can just get a villa like this like a big one which is literally by the water oh, perfect it's so peaceful and then there's the little cars that you'll notice and then there's the other one there so Italian you know like the vibe I lose my breath whenever I see you places where you can come and have your gelatos we're definitely gonna try that there's also a place here it's like for wine and beer so you just come here for your tasting and then beautiful shops just here for like nat natural stuff shampoos and all that and then just down the streets with cafes you know oh with all the sweets guys Oh my god, this is a lot. Pastries. It is at night and we've just... Honestly, people don't want to sleep. See people playing there in the what? We are walking. It's currently at 10. It gets dark at around 10? 9. No, I had to. 10. Oh, it's 11. 10 it's 10 30 10 30 and we're supposed to walk for 25 minutes back to our hotel and we're gonna cross like this really scary part and you know we're walking on tiny pavements so guys wish us luck it's our first time we don't know how things are here in como guys we're leaving the uh, beautiful hotel room unfortunately unfortunately but yeah, look at how cute that 
vintage thing is which is that and the bed <coughs> and then the view good morning guys from Como so this is day two in Como and um, day eight or nine of the whole trip I can't remember honestly I've stopped counting and I've stopped counting and honestly oh, this is like so stunning the weather is not the best but I like it like this it's not too hot it's not cold oh my god there's like a crazy like pool just down there I don't know if you see it like a pool just by the water so yes guys so if you want to come relax just take your mind off life and everything this is the place if you want to come for something romantic this is the place this is literally like the playground for the rich to be honest like it's i mean it's not monaco but you see like the fast cars like the beautiful cars and the beautiful villas and the grand hotels and it's just amazing honestly to just experience this so i'm i'm really loving this the peace and quiet is everything and then just behind you see the mountains everywhere all around it's surrounded by mountains and water so like how amazing is this so we are currently guys at Como itself um, I know when we say we're at Lake Como there's so many little towns that are around that so yesterday we went to Menagio, which uh, I showed you on the video. So today we're at Como itself. So uh, we're at Como and then we want to just uh, go from Como to Bellagio and then from Bellagio to Varena. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, so we're just exploring uh, the town of Como and uh, I just want to show you what we're looking at. So this is basically it. out what you need from the farmer guys look what happened so the rain just decided to pour it's crazy we cannot even explore we wanted to go there and just show you there's like a ferris wheel somewhere there but you can't see because of the rain we are at hotel cruise this is in como this is gonna be our home for tonight so yeah this crazy world I feel like I was never heard. So we are currently at uh, Bellagio. So it's just stunning. It's like a little park. Yeah. Wow. A little park here. It's raining, so yeah, we're trying to find a restaurant. We hopefully might take like a boat there and go to Varena. Babe, we saw it closes at 8, yeah? The boats, so, yeah. they stop at 8, so we don't have much time. Guys, this boat is not going to Varena, where we want to go. So the Varena one is going to come in the next... Uh, the Varena one is going to come in the next um, 40 minutes, probably. So we're just going to go eat here, and then afterwards go to Varena. Uko <laughs> what? Nico Harpa Haraka 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 Babe, you haven't had the saying Haraka Haraka Haina Baraka I hope it's open It's open till 9pm Okay You see the restaurants here open very late at 12pm
better for drinking water. So guys, there's a church. Here there's a restaurant, I think it's part of the hotel. So we came just from the down there, as you can hear my breathing. Oh, this is like a old school shop, 1965. It's really old. So again, you continue like, I think this is a government office. Um, so we just have to decide whether we go this side. I think this goes down to the piazza and then this one goes up to villas. Beautiful, yeah? It is. This small and they're not ripe. It's ripe. This I can eat. Okay. Lugots. If you're Kenyan, you know what I mean. It's called we used to call it Lugots when we were kids. I don't know if that's the name.